Well, it's looking increasingly unlikely. Well, it looks increasingly unlikely that well, it looks increasingly unlikely. Well, it looks unlikely that I'm going to get the sunrise this morning. Now, I did say last time I was up here that uh, the colour was really the best option. It's the colour location. It's the sunrise shoot. So I brought the digital camera this time because I'm not going to waste loads of film on these super long exposures, which is a bit of guesswork with film. But with digital, not a problem at all. Now, the camera is my Panasonic G9, which I've had for quite a few years now. And the lens is an all-in-one, let me just show you, an all-in-one uh, super zoom, a 14 to 14 to 140. Yeah, so about a 28 to 280. Now, something else I have my Panasonic G9 is a high-resolution mode. Now, I would typically use this for digitising my negatives. But on scenes like this where there's no movement, it's very still this morning, it's worth trying one of the higher-res modes. It gives me about a 40 megapixel image. Now, I'm not saying I need 40 megapixels, but... It's quite nice to have the option, especially if I wanted to make a panoramic out of this and crop out quite a lot of the detail. I may need more than the standard 20 megapixel resolution. It's particularly nice this morning. It's very, very colourful. It's, it's more like a sort of Velvia or a Provia shot. And it's subtle and it's soft, but uh, yeah, still wouldn't mind a bit of sun poking through, to be honest. You know, while it's not going to be spectacular from my normal vantage point, I think I'll move the camera around a little bit, um, encompass some of these, these trees, maybe this little path in here. I've got to try something a bit different. If I'm not getting the best light for the shot I'm lined up with, then maybe something else will work better in these subdued conditions. Well, that's a little bit different. I don't know if it's better. It's not quite as well balanced as my normal shot. But uh, yeah, being up here, um, the heather's gone. Would have been better in August, obviously. Note to self. Um, but yeah, there's definitely something about it. Right, well, we are past the sunrise now and there hasn't been one. So perhaps I should reposition myself a little bit further down the the lovely little path down here. There are a couple of angles I've seen when I'm walking home through some trees, through some rocks, through some boulders, etc. I get a bit bored doing the same old same, even though it's a beautiful spot. I think I've got to uh, practice what I preach and branch out a little bit and uh, be a bit more adventurous. Hmm. Well, I'm rather pleased with myself that I've moved all of about, <laughs> about 20 yards. Massive effort there, Steve. And I have lined up something a bit different, something I've seen, as I said, many times before. But the light is better today. I've got a much better balance with these foreground areas of interest. Uh, they're evenly illuminated because the sun hasn't come up particularly bright in the background, so I'm not blasted. It's not soot and whitewash. Yeah, very promising. It does need my widest angle of 14 millimeters, 28 mil equivalent. I'll be honest, I could have done with something slightly wider, but uh, maybe 24 mil would have just about uh, captured everything. But still, pretty nice. Well, I quite like this image overall. It's quite subtle. There's not a great deal of colour in there. It's quite uh, modest. It's almost film-like, but the detail levels are nice. Now, something else I've done with all the Panasonic images here is add a bit of grain and noise. I just think it looks better overall. Now, what really surprised me was the shot I took with the iPhone. Now, this is an iPhone 12 Pro, and I used the RAW mode. Now, the colours are beautiful, and the detail levels are really superb. It wouldn't stand up to the Micro Four Thirds image in terms of close scrutiny, but for, I'd say, an A3 print, I actually think the iPhone image is a better overall representation of the scene. Well, I think I've had the best of it this morning. The light is coming up now, which will actually spoil it because the contrast will go off the scale. 
but I enjoyed shooting that last little composition particularly. Uh, however, I have a sneaking suspicion that the iPhone shot may actually be the better one. It was, uh, it was extremely nice on the back of the, the cat on the front of the phone. So I'm going to get back and I was going to say develop these uh, pictures, but obviously they're already uh, developed. I just got to get them into Lightroom, do very little to them. I think just uh, basically adjust the framing and maybe lift a few of the shadows if they're a little bit dark. But yeah, another good trip out and I do hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon.